Welcome to the new episode of GitHub Copilot. In today's episode, we will look on how to generate unit test scripts with the help of Copilot chat. In an earlier episodes, we covered how to generate the unit test scripts using Copilot and prompt engineering. The links are provided in the description. You can explore that. So in today, we will see how we can use Copilot chat as a mechanism to generate the unit test scripts. Unit test plays a major role in a developer ecosystem. Each and every developer needs to test his code using different unit tests to ensure that it's complete, it's a functionality, handle the boundary conditions, handle the exceptions and everything. So let us see how we can generate the unit test using Copilot chat. So we have this verifier as a class. Under that, we have one is palindrome method. So we'll start with a simple unit test generation for this method. So select the method. You have the Copilot chat enabled here. Currently, it's available for VS Code and Visual Studio only. So soon you can expect for other IDs. So there is a command test slash test is there. So you just pass that to Copilot chat to generate unit test for the selected code. Here the Copilot chat is coming up with a, a number of unit test scripts addressing various scenarios. And the scenarios are explained down. It uh, have one test case for the palintro. One, it's a negative test case and an empty string, single character, and case sensitive information. So these are the test cases generated by Copilot chat. But if I look here, the test case by default generated for the C sharp code is n unit based text case. But my environment, the setup I have is X unit based. So I may need to prompt again Copilot to generate the test case aligned to my testing framework. So for that, you can pass along with test, you can say generate based on X unit. That's the framework I am using for unit testing. So it's again going to generate the test cases based on the X unit based artifacts. Similar kind of test case is generated, which addresses around four different scenarios, which address the complete code coverage or boundary conditions for my method. So if you look at the test case, generated test case, if it looks fine, you can simply add that as part of your test suit. And it's uh, available here now. And you can go ahead and refresh your testing area and see whether this test are identified. Once it's identified, you can execute it. So let me go ahead and execute. Sorry, it's went for this is another set of test cases. This one I need to save for identification. So I served the unit test cases and trying to identify them as part of my testing area. You can see that all these test cases are identified here. Go ahead and run the test cases. And all five test cases pass right now because it's properly generated. Now let me modify it to some other data. This one is modified. That is a this particular test case. Let me rerun. And it's supposed to fail because uh, this is not an expected value. So let it, yeah, it's failed because it's actually is false and expected is true. So this is a simple test generation. You can use slash test and also you can modify your framework information as part of that. So let me go ahead with a, another test case where we have multiple if conditions, inner loops and if conditions, if the test case if the copilot is able to generate test case for such complex scenario. Let me try that. Test, again, generate based on X unit. This is what I needed. So this is nothing but checking a number is prime or not. And now copilot is generating again a set of uh, test cases. 
the first one is a prime number and the next one is not a prime number third is addressing this scenario two it's a two is a number or not and less than two another scenario all these cases are handled and uh, the even number is also handled here and if you look at here the prime number is also handled but uh, this particular scenario where a uh, odd number which is not a prime comes here and that particular if statement handling is not done as part of these test cases so i can either go ahead and ask copilot in a detailed way or i can specify here write a unit test case for again we need to select the method for this this method uh, test case using odd non prime number this will address the requirement for this if loop also so it's not only really slash test you can prompt exactly the similar way you done with the copilot you can prompt the copilot chat also for generating specific boundary conditions or test cases so here it's taken nine nine comes under this condition and the for loop and there is a nine by three become zero and it returns zero so this particular if statement also covered as part of our test case generation so once it's available either you can copy paste these test cases or you can include all of them directly into the test area so i'm just adding here this is how you can add the new test cases now coming to the uh, exception area here i have a divide method with the exception handling there is a throw exception is there let us see whether copilot will be able to help in exception handling also so i'm going with a slash test only not providing any information related to exception let us see how it's generate as the previous test cases are based on x unit it's taken x unit as the one and the first one is uh, non zero divisor that is a 10 by 2 is doing then zero divisor that's the second case where i am expecting an exception so it's properly uh, defined the test case for the exception scenario also and also it's explained the two test cases in detail down here so copilot is able to help me with a generic test generation exception handling inner loop kind of thing now let us see whether it's able to generate a data driven test case also so i am going with a test and asking copilot generate data driven test case using theory theory is the method we use for x unit wise data driven test case generation let us see whether theory is working here yeah cool it's able to do it so in this case the first test case will be executed three times with the, the input and the expected output this is the combination its work you can go with inline data or a csv file also you can mention that read from this csv so that it will take care of that angle and in case of divide by zero the exception scenario also handled with two data there is no expected data so there is a you know the expected value the third element is missing here because we are expecting an exception here we have the expected value as part of the data so copilot chat is able to handle even the data driven test case cool now let us look at how the copilot chat can be leveraged by a java developer who is using intellij as an id so either the java developer can use the prompt based approach which we explained in an earlier episode you can say add unit test for the add method so this is a prompt based approach where the system will generate test cases based on the prompt it's a one after the other generation kind of thing but 
If you feel you want a test case generated using Copilot chat, which gives you multiple test cases at once, handling different scenarios, then go ahead and open your project in Visual Studio Code. Time meaning till you get the uh, Copilot chat functionality as part of your IntelliJ. Till that time, go ahead and open the uh, Copilot, sorry, your code into VS Code and try to generate the test cases. So I'm going to ask Copilot to generate test case. I'm not specified whether it's a Java or any other mechanism. So it's able to generate the test case for divide one. It's generated one for the test divide. The other one is divide by zero. You can see there is an illegal argument exception we are expecting that is handled properly. And division by negative number and positive by negative. So and there is an explanation on all four test cases here. So you can just go ahead and include that as part of your test area. And either you can go ahead and use the testing extension to test it. You have all these things here. Go ahead and run it. It's working fine. All the expected values are correct. So let me change some value and see whether it's running properly. So this is failed because the expected is 55 actually is fine. That's why it's failed. So you can do the test generation for your Java project by loading that into VS Code quickly. And let us see whether Copilot chat will help us into a more complex test generation procedure. So here we have a to-do service. It's an interface and with a single method for retrieving to-dos. And the same is invoked as part of this implementation, to-do service implementation, where it's invoking that method, but it's not implemented anywhere. This is a general scenario when you invoke an APIs or external services, we can't depend on that external service implementation. Instead of our code, we may need to write the unit test by mocking that external services or simulating the external service. So similar approach I'm going to take here. This is my method. I need to test this method by mocking to do service. That is my interface. Let us see whether Copilot is able to help me at unit test using Mokito. Mokito is the mocking framework I am using here and mock the to do service. This class I need to mock it. So let me see how Copilot is able to help me with the complete implementation. So cool. It's able to import the required ones and it's able to assert some of the things and there is a mock is done for to do service also. So let me say without even implementing this, this line will fail if we are not mocking the service. So I'm going to just add that as part of my test and test it directly. Okay, Mokitos, this runner will be part of runners. So I have added that and it looks fine. So let me save it and go here. This is the one. Let me go ahead and run it. Yeah, it's expected two, but I have actual one. What went wrong? Let us see here. The inputs have one string with the Java. So actually the implementation is nothing but it's going to check the to do's with the Java as a keyword. It's a hard coded value. If it found it add and return it. So there is only one have one string have Java as an input. And the expected is two. That is wrong. I am expecting only because I am passing one. Either you can change here or change the list of inputs where we are doing the mock the to do service. So I just changed this one, run it. There is some index out of bound exception. Let us see what went wrong. 
I did something. Okay, so Java, the user is there. There is no issues at all. Okay, it looks fine. Why it's failed? Okay, let us rerun it. Index is one, size is one, to do service, get array list. There is some issue. Let me see how we can fix it. Okay, why I need to bother it? Let me go ahead and ask Copilot itself. Uh, how to fix? Okay, so it's because the another assertion we have here where I am in expecting a to do for this one learn spring boot in the to do's index one that is strong we are returning only one value that contains java so this assertion is strong that is why it's failed so let me go ahead and run it good it's working fine so if you want to run it in IntelliJ itself, go ahead and open your IntelliJ. All these test cases are pre-populated from the VS code here. So this is our to-do service. The method is here. Let us go with run with the coverage. So it's implemented a hundred percentage coverage is there for that. You can explore this one. This is the one tested. 100% and if you go here, you can see the execution coverage in green color here. And only the commented portion is not covered. The remaining, the particular method is completely covered. And the similarly calculator functionality, we have the test cases loaded here for some of them. So I can go ahead and run the calculated test. There are few failed, which we done the do not apply replace the active suit so it will come the new suit here let us explore and see calculator a 20 percentage of the method covered so there is a red symbol indicating the particular test methods are not tested only divide is tested properly and the one failed is the one we altered in vs code so this is how you can leverage Copilot chat for your test generation. That to be a set of test cases addressing different scenarios, your positive scenario, negative scenario, or boundary condition exceptions, and everything is captured. If you want further test cases, you can prompt using the chat to generate further test cases. Explore it. Thank you.